Oh, what is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dap Central. My name is Fareed, and in today's video, I've got some news surrounding a brand new mail specific platform allowing users in Web3 to communicate all using the Cardano network. Now, this is going to be done in collaboration between IMX and Endmaker. For those of you who are not familiar with IMX, they're a DID solution or decentralized identity solution building, starting off on Cardano, but they've also got the plans of going multi-chain. Now, Endmaker is gonna be a platform that allows for you to create your NFTs on the Cardano network, manage their royalties, and everything else that you can think of specific to the NFT collection itself. Now, I've been teasing some information that was released by the official Ada Mail team, and that's going to be the name of this particular project building on Cardano. So the first question they stated was, what if every wallet on Cardano was in email? So in this particular case, imagine using your stake key, which is unique to your wallet as an email handle or an email address. There was a follow up post to that stating or asking, what if you could send an email to all holders of an NFT project? This is a huge piece of information here or a huge opportunity, I should say, that I could see a lot of NFT projects and just regular projects, including DEXs and DeFi projects or um, platforms building on Cardano, taking advantage of, you know, being able to quickly reach out to community members, which are obviously invested in your project or in your platform in order to give them timely or relative information when it comes to updates surrounding your project. So two interesting use cases there already, but I could definitely see a lot of projects wanting or using a service like this to get in touch with their core community. Now, last but not least, we've got one more question here coming from the team asking, what if you could prove your authenticity by signing emails with your wallet? I don't know about you guys, but I receive a ton of spam and a ton of phishing emails, and I have a verified list of contacts or a trust list of contacts within my current email. Now, being able to do a similar thing on Web3, I think would be huge. Again, giving users a sense of trust and a sense of confidence in whatever kind of information or email they are receiving. Now, that's going to wrap it up there for the teasing of the actual platform. This is going to be the introduction here of Ada Mail, where your wallet is going to be officially your inbox. Again, being done in collaboration with Endmaker and IMX. Jumping over into the next page here, it states, it's time. We're finally proud to announce Ada Mail, a unique emailing solution built on Cardano, a completely new way to communicate in Web3, where your wallet is your inbox. Again, I know that right now in this particular community, a lot of communications are done via Twitter, which can be a little bit of a headache sometimes, especially keeping track of threads. We also have a lot of people on Discord as well as Telegram. So this is going to be a new way to communicate in addition to some of these ways that we've been communicating already in Web3. So what I want to do is quickly touch on this article released by the official team, breaking down exactly what Ada Mail is and what we can expect in terms of the rollout and launch of this new communication platform building on Cardano. So it states, we're thrilled to announce the upcoming launch of our new product, Ada Mail, a collaborative project between IMX and Endmaker. This unique tool combines traditional email with Web3 utilities, allowing you to send an email to every Cardano wallet and log into your email account by simply connecting your wallet. Now, there's two key pieces that I want to touch on there that really stood out to me. Number one was going to be the ability to send an email to every Cardano wallet. Again, if this is a available to every wallet, whether or not they've actually signed up for the Ada Mail service, this is going to be a huge opportunity to reach the masses. And then the second piece there is the ability to log into your email account by simply connecting your wallet. So really trying to make this as seamless as possible and as integrated 
created as possible with the Cardano native wallets. In the current crypto market, communication primarily happens through platforms like Twitter and Discord, like I mentioned earlier. This is where AdaMail comes in. They aim to provide or revolutionize this particular system by enabling direct communications with wallets. Imagine being able to send emails to all verified holders of a project. This is now going to open up a new level of interaction and connection between the crypto community and their favorite projects. Some of the key features here, and let me zoom in just a little bit there, include the ability to send emails to wallet addresses. And this means that with an ADA mail, you can now send emails directly to wallet addresses, making communication more direct and efficient. Again, this is going to be done using the state key, which is a unique key associated with every Cardano wallet. You'll also be able to receive emails with your wallet. And this basically means that your wallet will no longer be just for transactions. With Ada Mail, you'll now also be able to receive emails directly in your wallet. Now, I have a few questions here because it states directly in your wallet. Does that mean that they're going to be integrated with some of the top wallets, including Nami, Yoroi, um, Typhon, Lace, etc.? If so, I think that opens up a whole lot of doors. But my initial understanding was that you'll be able to use your wallet, log on to the Ada Mail platform, and therefore gain access to your email through access that way, not necessarily having the actual emails being sent directly into your wallet or integrated into the wallet user interface. So maybe something that I can post to the ADML team there. I'd love to get some clarity as to how they plan on implementing the ability to actually receive emails in our wallets. Now, the third key feature is that you'll be able to connect your ADA mail to the email client or to an email client of your choice via SMTP or simple mail transfer protocol. So imagine being able to tie this into your Gmail, your Yahoo or your Hotmail, um, again, providing a seamless experience, which basically allows for anything coming into your ADA mail to also be visible in that respective email client. Now, number four, you'll be able to get access to special email aliases, and this will be done by purchasing specific NFTs, and you'll also be able to get a special email alias, including a unique touch to your email address. Last but not least there, in terms of some of the features, we can also expect Ada Handle integration. Ada Handle appears to be making their way around town. We're now expecting to see the launch of Ada Handle customization, which should actually be kicking off here today on August 8th. Scrolling down a little bit, we've got some of the key features we can expect to be coming online with Ada Mail in the near future, which include the ability to sign emails with your wallet, connect a DID or digital identity with your email, as well as the ability to actually complete transactions through their email platform. So it states your Ada Mail will enable transactions via email, making it easier than ever to send and receive funds and assets. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work there, but I am interested in seeing how they'll be implementing that and being able to, you know, create transactions via email, I think will open up a lot of doors for the entire community. Very lastly, or second to last, I should say, we will be able to mass send to holders of a policy ID. Again, imagine if you're a creator, whether you're creating NFTs, whether you're creating music, etc., you have a community that's there to support you, right? So being able to contact or reach out to any members holding a particular policy ID, I think will be huge. Again, because we're using state keys, they're able to basically take a look at the policy ID and then identify or associate any of the state keys holding that particular policy ID, therefore making this feature possible. Last but not least, we'll also see the integration of decentralized signature solutions like DocuSign, Scribble, and Adobe Sign. What's interesting here is that the official IMX team recently released a proposal for Project Catalyst funding round number 10 for a platform called DocuFied, which is basically going to be a Web3 version of something like DocuSign. If you're not familiar with DocuSign or DocuFied, they're basically platforms that allow for you to sign transactions or sign documents online in an authentic manner with DocuFied being a Web3 version or Web3 rendition of DocuSign Scribble or Adobe Sign. So pretty cool feature there that we will possibly see an integration of those Web2 services. And hopefully if DocuFied gets approved by Project Catalyst, that'll also be included here as a part of their integration. 
Now, the very last piece I want to touch on here is going to be surrounding access. There's going to be three different tiers available for the Cardano community. So tier number one will be a base pass, which will allow for you to earn or get a unique quote unquote your state key at adamail.me email address. Again, that's going to be somewhat non-readable, but you can also integrate here with your ADA handle. Now, this will give you access to ADA mail for one single year with 500 megabytes of storage for emails. Now, granted that emails are not by themselves large files in nature, that should be quite a bit, but I'm interested in also finding out whether or not they'll actually be allowing you to send files um, as those can probably be a little bit bigger than the emails containing them themselves. The second tier is going to be what's referred to as the gold alias pass. This again, will give you access to your unique state key email address but on top of that you'll get your own unique alias email address so i think this is going to be a little bit more customizable and a little bit more user friendly in terms of access again you get 500 megabytes for storage of emails and you get access to ada mail for a single year the third pass or the third tier excuse me is going to be what's referred to as the handle pass with more information coming soon the very last thing I want to touch on here states that with Ada Mail, you have the flexibility to choose how you want to be identified when signing into your mailbox. So you can either opt to remain anonymous or stay as IMX, which is actually where the name of the IMX project is derived from. You can also use your name or Ada handle, or you can utilize your verified KYC. Again, keep in mind that IMX will provide KYC as well as DIDs, so you can use them for that third and final option. This gives you control over your privacy and identity while using Ada Mail. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you plan on using a feature like this, which is going to be Ada Mail? Are you excited for all the features and all the different use cases that could be used by different projects that you might be a holder of to get in contact and provide you with the latest updates going on here in the Cardano network? That said, as a content creator myself, I could definitely see myself leveraging this to get in contact with some of my core supporters here on the channel. And if I'm ever to launch an NFT collection, I could also keep up with them in that particular way using something like the policy send all mass mailer as a part of ada mail as always if you found this particular video to be helpful or insightful in any way shape or form i would appreciate you if you could tap that like button if it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this consider subscribing and if you have any questions for me surrounding ada mail or cardano in general then as always make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below that said i will see you guys in the next video Thank <laughs> you.